hard work and now we're over it all right can you guys see me okay here yay you can't hear me with all the noise okay well basically Robin in a nutshell that was uh, me telling the lady who was on my live last night who said I don't know I'm just really nervous watching her paint because you know what I just don't know how it's gonna turn out like because oh my god like never trust a painter with a hat on her head can she even really see what she's doing I mean, I just don't know. So today, I upgraded it. Did you love my big wizard hat, right? Had the wide rim going on so I could see really near and far, even shoot laser beams out of my mouth, which was absolutely freaking amazing, right? Seriously, magic coming out of my mouth, all right? Beautiful, just wait till my husband finds out that I have that ability. All right, so anyhow, just having some fun with you guys. Hey, thanks for being on here. Hey, Andrea, how are ya? So anyway, I thought that was really, really funny. You get the most amazing, funny, redonkulous, uh, let me just tell you, people who show up when you do live video, and uh, somebody's going to show up through my door here in just a second. I'm coming to you guys live today, so you guys get to uh, meet my customers because this has just happened where I happen to be filming. Kate's going to go, and somebody's calling me, man. All at once, why does that always happen? You know you know when you start something, it's like everybody shows up, right? That's okay. We can have a pay party. Come on in, guys. We're here live. You want to say hey? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Somebody's probably here to browse or possibly even start a project. Who knows? So I've got a project behind me, and I thought I'd pop on today and share with you guys what I'm working on. And I've got to share with you guys uh, so you can run out and get them, these really cool stencils. You guys have a Walmart in your area, a famous Wally World, as we like to call them. Check out these stencils I found, okay? You guys know I am a stencil lover. Hey, Angel. Hey, Crystal from Texas. Thanks for being here. So I gotta show you guys, okay? These, remember how I've been saying for a long, long time? Because you know I've been a stencil lover for like all my life. And uh, since I've been painting for the last eight years, I love places where I can incorporate stencils. And I gotta show you, I was at Walmart and I've been saying that they've been really stepping up their game lately. Hey, Rydonia, I think hopefully I said your name right. If not, I still love you anyhow. anyhow. Um, but I wanna share with you these awesome stencils that they have, okay? so. They come in packs. Have you guys seen them? Look, can you see that value pack 41 designs, okay? If I were to show them to you really up close, if you could see them, can you see, like, they kind of give you the breakdown of what's inside right here. And let me just tell you, there's all kinds of, like, this is inspirational phrases. So it is, like, every, you know, like, life's an adventure. It's got arrows in it, beautiful flowers, dream big. You know, love always wins, take a leap of faith, make today amazing, all those wonderful sayings. So these are awesome stencil packs right now that Walmart just got in, okay? So they're, they're all broken down into themes. And because I do a lot of painting uh, for myself, for other people, I like to have like a variation of stuff, right? So I'm a girl that likes to have lots of tools in my tools bags. Tammy said, Applebee's, girl, what are you ordering today? Anything good? Tell me, tell me, Susan. Hey, how are ya? Any angel wings? I'm trying to think what I saw. Let me think. Well, I know there's fairy wings, but uh, this is one I picked up. This has 50. By the way, these are all like $10 a pack. I think the most one was like maybe $12.98, I want to say, but between $9.98 and $12.98, okay? And so you get all the stencils in the pack. Can you guys see that kind of up close right there? So this one is all woodland related, okay? So I got this one because you guys know the deer head's really popular right now. There's moose, there's trees, there's mountains, raccoons, camp, and it's got a really cute bus on it too, if you guys can see that up close. Absolutely amazing. So 50 cents for like 
$10 ish, right? You cannot beat it. So those were those two packs I got. And so I bought four packs, okay? Now these are cardboard. You can use them over and over again, um, but you just have to take better care of them. Make sure you keep them flat, okay? Thanks for the hearts, guys. I love ya. Oh, Louisa, yes. Walmart's got some beautiful stencils out there now, all kinds of them. Um, so yeah, you can get a lot for cheap, right? So this one here is fantasy. It has unicorns, which are super popular right now. So we've got the unicorns, I think the baby unicorns on here are so cute. The frogs, you know, the moons, the fairies, as you can see. Once upon a time, secret garden, don't forget you can fly, all kinds of really fun stuff, right? So that was a cute one, so I had to get that. And my last one I got was Sea Life, because I do have a lot of customers that love the, love the distress, like, and because yeah, I love the stress, right? Like, say no more. But they love that beach, um, weathered ocean, you know, nautical themed stuff. So I had to get this one. Can you guys see it? It's like seahorses and anchors and uh, there's like shells on here, octopus, turtles, all kinds of good stuff over here. So, you know, seashells. It's got, for a lot of people, you guys ask me if I have a stencil that's got the compass on it, you know, the north, south, east, and west. This one right here, uh, this pack has it. 43 stencils, again, like 10 bucks, okay? So I spent all in all $40 and I've got like... 50, I've got 200 stencils. So this is going to take me. <laughs> hey, Caitlin, how are you from Florida? Oh my gosh, we were just talking, right? Hey, Aunt Loretta's on here. Everybody say hey to Aunt Loretta too. So anyway, I wanted to tell you, Walmart has these. Go grab them, okay, real quick. So what's everybody up to today? Louisa wants pair of stencils. I do have some of those in the shop, by the way, all right? Oh my gosh, Tammy, you are in luck if the hubs is going to take you to Walmart after dinner, okay? So you want to meet my, I'll show you my project over here, over here, over here in just a second. God, it's so weird being like on reverse and camera, right? I'll just like point everywhere, that thing back there. All right, what are the sizes? Um, they're like, they're big, they're big. They're 12 by 12, that's how big it is, 12 by 12, which is a big giant stencil. I mean, seriously, look at my head, you can see how big it is, like right here, big, big, big stuff, right? Packing for be Vegas, I am so jealous. Judy, listen, I'm going to tell you, I will brave Walmart because, yeah, I know it's a pain in the butt to go there sometimes um, because, you know, for all the reasons we already we all know, but there's some good stuff there, right? And I'm a girl who likes to design on a budget, so yeah, I'm going to go there. And uh, so I'm probably the person who knows that everything when they get something new into the craft department because I'm there all the time. You're going now, I think. Oh, that's too funny. Hey, Ann, how are you from Florida? Hey, Kayla was just in Florida. Florida's on my Florida girls. All right, so found this coat rack, all right? It's missing something right here, but I still love it anyway. Nancy, how do you clean them? Those are actually, you just go to a Walmart day VM. That's a good idea. Go before or do the after. Hey, you guys, the ladies have a great day. Thank you. Hopefully you don't have the run between the raindrops today. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It is a rainy day here in Pennsylvania. It's kind of like it's been like off and on, but it's a beautiful day to create. See you guys? A beautiful day to be able to create. So we're inside doing some painting, doing some packing and shipping, and uh, about to give a give some new life to this beautiful, beautiful tree stand. All right, all right, all right, all right. You got your paints today. Oh my goodness, that's awesome, Lee. Make sure you, uh, please make sure you post pictures to our page because we love that. Okay, found this old tree stand, okay? Yeah, it's missing one of the hangers. I don't care because I love things even though they're imperfectly perfect. Uh, or they are perfectly perfect to me, right? But because seriously, what in life is perfect? Um, so when I see something like this, and it's $10, $10, okay? Did I tell you how much it was? It was $10. Yeah, it was $10. So I had to take it because I'm that girl who five to $10 is my like, heck yeah, bring it home. Sonia's gonna find a way to fit it into her car and uh, take it home. So now that I got it here to my shop, I actually have aprons and things like that you see like hanging behind me. And so I need something to display my apron. So for $10, I'm gonna go paint it and then I can use it for my, uh, for my apron display, right? So I think that's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna knock it out in just a second. Beth, what did you paint, girl? What did you paint? Tell me, your first junk monkey project. I'm excited for you. Last night, the color we used on here when I used my stir stick, this is a mermaid tail. And I'll just, can you see the dresser behind me? I'll give you a close up in just a second, okay? But mermaid tail, it is a beautiful dark teal. If you go to junkmonkeypaint.com, you'll see the pictures. You'll see, be able to see the paint pictures. Sometimes on video, it's hard to really see it, right, with the lighting. Hey, Leah, how's my girl from Ohio doing? Hope you guys are doing well. So I'm just gonna do a little stir. I've had this paint for a while. People ask us, how long does your paints hold up for? I say on average, two years. Um, but these, this was actually in a jar because those of you who've been following us for a long, long time knows that we used to sell our paint in mason jars. 
where we are just a mom and pop guy and girl team that make the paint right here at our shop. And uh, so I've been painting my furniture with this for a long time. People ask, of course, where did you get the paint? We say we made it. So we started sharing it in mason jars and making it available. But now we've upgraded to paint cans. So gone are the days of having mason jars, but I still do love them, right? Who loves a good mason jar? So this has been sitting for a while. But um, all you gotta do is stir it up and you are ready to rock and roll, okay? So I'm thinking on here, we've got the brown, brown and frowny, you know how I like to say. So I'm gonna give this a pop of color because my favorite colors are, like my favorite color is teal. So uh, yeah, true story. Did I ever tell you that before? My favorite color is teal. You guys are probably like sick of me saying that. Everything, let's just paint it teal. So uh, we're gonna paint this teal today and then these metal hooks, I'm not even gonna take them off. I'm gonna paint them actually on as is but I think I'm gonna do them a different color. And the cool thing is the paint will stick to it as well, but it makes for a really, really easy project, okay? So you guys know I love my shabby chip brushes. So easy, so cheap. I'm not breaking the bank, seriously. The hubby's gonna come home and love what I did without having to drain the bank account, which is always a bonus, right? When you can do those things on a budget. And um, anybody else agree that sometimes when you actually take the time to uh, paint something, or do a change could be the small sorry getting all kinds of calls I'm on Facebook live nobody call me right now I'm telling you it is like that's what happens right it's like when you decide to go live or you decide to do something um, you know everybody comes all at once tell me there's probably a rules rule for that out there somewhere like Murphy's Law or something right it's how it always goes down but yeah sometimes it can be the smallest pop of color that, um, I mean, seriously, I could put a new painting on my wall or paint a frame of a picture that's been there for a long time and it just makes me feel like my, my space has been refreshed or it makes me want to clean the rest of the room around it. Anybody else like that? Am I the only weird one? Am I the only one? All right, let's bring some color down and around. You guys, I didn't do anything with this, okay? I cleaned the cobwebs off it. Found this in the back of a thrift store and so in the, in the junk area. So, you know what? Sonia's gonna take it home, or in this case, it's gonna make it to my shop and I'm gonna use it for a display, right? Like how pretty already, just that color on that wood. And I'm actually kind of liking these tarnished pieces, how they look right now, right? Can you guys see that? Even though it's all, um, you know, you can see the patina on it because it's so old and rusted. Teal goes really good with browns as well, right? You guys know that teal and browns, think like the cowboy, the cowboy colors, right? You see a lot of the, uh, the barbed wire fences and uh, you know, then you got the teal going on. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, let me just see. I'm gonna do the bottom real quick. Let me pull it out here. So you guys can watch me do the bottom real, real fast. So you guys need to tell me what's going down. Yeah, I think it goes really good, uh, Andrea, too. I kind of like that. I will see what happens. We'll see what happens here in a second. Can you guys see the base down here? I don't know if you can. Let me go back a little bit. Because I'm working with an object that is so tall, it's like, can you see the base from there? No. No? Move it out further. How about now? Hey guys, I'm way over here. <laughs> That when we grew up in Canada, there was this look way up, look way, way up. It was a draft show. That's what I feel like. I'm, I'm painting a long and thin object, so it's a very weird camera view, but stick with me because we're going to get this knocked out really fast. So that's what's cool about it. You really, honestly, just pick a color that you like and go bananas. And I'm already loving this so much. And let me just tell you, it's thirsty. It needs a drink. It's perfect. I love it. I love it. Have you ever rescued something where somebody else thought it was a lost cause and then you did something with it and, uh, you know, just made it beautiful and totally made them rethink what they had said to you? Yeah, right? That's the best feeling. Or when they walk back in and they go, did you get a new piece? No, I painted what was already there, you know? Or remember that piece that we picked up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I did was add some paint onto it. That's all I did. We turn this real quick so you guys can see. So one of my tricks is when I paint um, a layer over it, it's the brush that gives me this look that I that I want, okay? That distressed look that gives me that peekaboo where I've got the wood that's coming from behind it. It's not completely covered, but it's so easy to be able to do. All right, that side's done. It wiggles on the top, so I don't need to move this. Man, how did I get so lucky? All right, last side right here without trying to touch it. We'll do the base down here real fast. 
Anybody out there also a teal lover? I'm telling you, teal is awesome. It's just a pop of color, right? I am that person that likes to have, you know, I like to have um, colors in my space. And I love to have a piece of furniture that becomes like a statement piece, the eye candy. So, you know, could I have a yellow buffet or something like that? Absolutely. Count me in. All right, paint it. Done. Who has a coat rack that needs some love? And even if this was metal, I would not even change the process that I did. Okay, these are some pretty Hollywood special effects going on right here now, people. So what I'm doing, work with me. This is called where I drag the leg and pull it in a little bit closer. And there you go, right? The magic has happened. What do you guys think? Cool or what? I'm loving it. All right, we got that done in all of what? Well, two minutes flat, so easy. Uh, let's see, Janet, Friday of Blonde will be painting it. Heck yeah. You know, that's the cool thing too is that um, I've even painted like cabinets for people and stuff and they're not all the same or you have multiple pieces that make up the furniture in your space. The moment you paint it all together, you give it something that's similar across the board, right? So even though one might be blonde wood, might, one might be made with a dark wood, the moment you put the paint all over it, maybe you do, even if you do a little bit of distressing, you're training your eye right now to focus on the color and the continuity of the color around your space versus getting caught up on, oh my gosh, what color is that wood underneath that paint, right? You begin to, uh, that becomes the background and now the paint becomes the four, this becomes the show, right? Absolutely. Let's see. Annie said, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The color of the desk versus the me. Let's see here. Oh, darn it. You know what? Is it Lena? Hopefully I said your name right. Aprons will be available online probably in the next two hours, believe it or not. We have been working on that today behind the scenes. So I think I missed the, uh, the question, but for me, like if I wanted just to update this, there are times that I really don't take the hardware off of pieces. Sometimes you find pieces that the hardware is so onto it because it has been there for so long, it doesn't want to come off, right? Um, so I will actually paint the piece and then I will do some things to the hardware itself. So you can then tape off around it and then focus on the actual hardware piece if you want to do it that way. Other times, like if I'm painting a piece black, I might want to go all over this as well because the paint will stick onto the hardware as well. So sometimes I antique it and I keep bins like this around with me. So when I'm out at like, you know, when I say the Walmart spaces and things like that and you see all these brushes, they kind of look like this, right? And they're, they're just packs of them. And there's all kinds of different sizes going on down in them. Um, I like to grab those because that works for the one-off situations like this where you have hardware on here. Listen, these screws are so old. They're flathead. They're so tiny. It's like the, the, it's like the nails that are in the edges of the glasses. Somebody please stop calling me. Boy, they really want to get a hold of me. All right, bear with me. Um, all right, let's see. So anyway, pick a small brush that you like that's going to work for you. So maybe like... Something like this here, right? Can you guys see that? So just keep the small brushes because those are perfect. Now I will tell you, I can go over this with a brown and really, really, here's a tip. I should just do this on live for you guys. If you have a brown piece of furniture and it's an antique or, um, you know, it's just an old piece and you don't want to necessarily paint it a color, but it just needs help. We have the most amazing brown and there's so many times I've just painted our brown a true brown over an existing brown piece and it just gives it a beautiful refreshed look so your piece is still brown but it's really helped mellow it out and give it a nice clean look we'll do that one time okay maybe we'll do that this week only because I want you guys to be able to see it all right but keep your small brushes because I can go in here now for example I have some black here in front of me and let's see here man I have painted a desk with this black I have painted an two end stands with this with this paint and it keeps on going okay it just keeps on going so now i'm going to reach into the bottom of my can you guys see that so one of my favorite things to do is put a little bit of black or brown on top of existing hardware and not necessarily cover it over entirely i'm actually going to get a few spots where i paint it teal by accident but if you were to take just a little bit of black and just rub it over just to antique it and basically it takes on a different look right it just becomes i don't know if you can see it or not but it becomes much more, let's see if we can get a good view here. It just becomes much more um, vibrant. That's probably the best way to describe it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of black on over here in some places to darken it up so it really stands out with a little mini brush. 
And uh, here's the trick too. When you're doing this, if you, if you smear, if you get paint somewhere, listen, just let it dry, wipe it off, or go and get um, and paint over whatever you smeared the paint on. You know what I mean? It's so easy um, with paint. Somebody said to me last night in the live video that we were, when we were working on the dresser, you know, what happens if I distress too much? All you do is you just put more paint on. It's so, so easy. Should you seal over a painted bed after using your paint? I don't want paint on my linens. I don't want paint on my linens. Um, okay, so the paint's not going to fall off, if that's what you mean. But I would seal it because, you know, um, a bed gets a lot of use. You know what I mean? It's one of the day-to-day -day things that we have in our lives. So I would definitely seal like a bed frame. Um, and that way you can clean it. So when you're spring cleaning, you can do a wash over of it. So I always say, like for example, I am not going to seal this. I am just going to leave this as is and uh, use it as is. But um, if this was a piece of furniture where it was getting a lot of use, I'm gonna wanna seal it. But it's not gonna rub off or like, you know, when I hang my, for example, my aprons on here, the paint is not going to rub off onto the aprons, okay? So it's gonna stay nice and dry and intact. And the only way it's gonna come off if it gets really, really scratched up or if you guys see me, when I take a really strong um, sand pad and really try to distress it off, right? You try painting over paint, you try painting over paint and I splattered on the carpet. That didn't work so well. Yeah, right, okay. Did you know that, uh, and you probably, hopefully you got to it like fast enough to be able to get it off your rug. I will tell you a tip that if you ever have Lysol wipes with you, use those. In fact, I keep Lysol wipes like when I'm, when I'm working in somebody else's house especially, um, but even here in my shop and stuff that keep the Lysol wipes with you because Lysol wipes are awesome in terms of, you know, you know they help with the whole cleaning and uh, keeping germs away or getting rid of germs, but they are made with alcohol. So if you have things like hand sanitizer or Lysol wipes, those two are the, the best things that I use um, for getting rid of paint on carpet, but just make sure you get to it quick because once it sets up, you're gonna have a harder time getting it off, okay? Because here's the truth. If I wanted to paint the rug on my floor any color, I could use this paint to paint it because it's gonna hold on to it. So much like if you've seen me paint furniture before with that actually has upholstery, you can do that. You can also do that with rugs on the floor. Yes, Stephanie, good for you, good for you. That's exactly um, what you need to do, get some Lysol wipes. It'll make life so much easier because painting is never an exact science and um, you know, if you think that paint doesn't get places, no matter how long you've been painting, that would be a lie if I told you that, right? Especially if you watch me paint live on here. Things happen, but you know what? It's knowing how to deal with it, right? And get it off rel relatively quickly. So I love it. Let me get rid of that here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me okay. All right, can you see that? So I basically what I did was I darkened them a little bit up here. And now what I can do, this is already really starting to set up and dry. I haven't even taken my heat gun or anything to it. You guys know I love to keep my sand pads. These are like a medium to coarse grit sand pad. And now if I want, this is where, this is my favorite part, right? This is my favorite part right here. Can you guys see that? This is where you get to like play it up and take off as much as you want to really make it that eye candy piece that you want and to do some distressing. So when you see, to create a really distressed look, it's when you want to use multiple colors. Hey Marlene from Ontario, thanks for being on here. Hey Vicki. Um, it's when you can see multiple colors. So right now you're seeing blacks and browns and teals, right? So I've got multiple colors. So versus something being painted and feeling like it's one color, it's one-sided, you know what I mean? Now you've got something that goes on that makes it look really, really interesting. Any advice to paint with polyurethane paint? To paint with polyurethane paint. Polyurethane paint. What do you mean? Like a poly shade, perhaps? Is that what you mean? Or do you mean the sealer, like the polyacrylic that I use? Let me know what you mean with that question so I can better answer it for you. Um, oh my gosh, Kat, we got another Kathleen from Florida, heck yeah. Sandy, teal is my color, teal is my color, all right? It just is, it just is, I can't help it. If you showed me something on a shelf and one was pink and one was teal, I'm gonna go and grab the teal one. But anyway, I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'm just gonna uh, distress this a little bit more, get it exactly where I want it to be, but I'm gonna tell you, so pretty. So you can paint a buffet these colors and do your hardware you know, dark and that sort of thing. A lot of times I paint even smaller pieces and then I get insp inspired to like paint something bigger with the same colors and kind of do the same effect, but do it on a bigger piece, right? 
So hopefully, hey, Carol, you love it? Well, thank you very, very much. So I'm gonna keep working on this. I wanted to show you the dresser that I finished up last night, okay? So let's see here, let's take you off. Who's ready to go for a ride? Who is ready to go for a ride with me? Woohoo! Oh, I'm upside down. Okay, now I gotta keep you this way. All right, <clears throat> so let's see here. So this was the piece last night. Can you guys see it? Uh, let me see here. How can I hold it up? Oh my gosh, Facebook. Let's see here. Hey, Judy, if I'm moving around, how are you, girl? Maybe if I like scoot down here, like, wait, 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 wait. Let's see here. Can you see that at all? I'm trying to think. How can I? Let me see here. Let me try something. Okay, let me try something. Work with me here. All right. There we go. Okay, that works a whole lot better. All right, so this is the dresser that got finished up last night. What do you guys think? Do you like it? This is the mermaid tail. And then, of course, I showed you guys how to do glazing really, really quick. There was nothing perfect about this desk, let me tell you. It's so funny because I started off by saying on this video, you know, you always get, especially when you go on Home Talk, seriously, right? You just get people with so many different varying opinions. But for those of you who have actually seen it or love to paint, you know that it was really, really in bad shape. In fact, I'll post a picture so you can see them side by side in just a little bit. But just a little bit of paint can do wonders. So, for example, um, you know, this was a $10 piece that I found. But if you were to go out and, you know, maybe your kid just needs a, needs a stand to do their homework. Or maybe you want to have a place to put a TV on. Or maybe you just want to have something so that when you step inside your house, you can put baskets on. And uh, have a little space where you do, um, you know, your mail. And use the drawers to collect your mail and stuff like that. It is so, so easy. This other desk is here. It's waiting for pickup. It's been raining, so my customers are going to go pick, pick this one up soon. And, of course, you guys saw the table that as well that we did on Home Talk um, over here, I think, in the last week, right? So, so easy. So, anyway, I love how this one turned out. And uh, I would encourage you guys to paint something that you have already or that you just want to give some new life to. So, there you go. And I really like how the Distressed Flower turned out because so easy. Same brush I used and, uh, you know, so, so easy. Oh my gosh, Rachel, that's okay. Listen, when you go on Home Talk, it's crazy. I love you guys on here because, you know what, my page is a place to encourage and to help one another uh, with paint techniques and just to be able to get inspiration for, you know, making your own home beautiful. But when you do go on other people's pages, yeah, I'm a band and deleter, so I don't put up with that crap. But um, when you're on somebody else's page, you just kind of have to bite your tongue. But realize that there are good people that also, also need help and also, you know, want your time and uh, an expertise. So anyway, ooh, there we go. Who likes roller coasters? <laughs> All right, Kathleen, I sealed with um, I seal with Min Wax Poly Acrylic. So I am a, an acrylic lover, and um, I love it because it's like a clear coat that you put over your nails. But there is a little bit of a like where you kind of have to like practice with it a little bit. But next week, I think I'm going to do one where a project where I roll it out to show you. And there's also another idea that I have I want to share with you guys on how to help avoid, um, help avoid that um, the lines that you can get sometimes when you do poly. Okay, so I'm going to help you guys with that. All right. Well, thanks, April. I'm glad you love it. So remember, like I said at the beginning, go out, get your stencils at Wally World, because before they're all gone, seriously, like right there. That's like over 200 stencils right there. And they're only $10 a pack for 40 to 50 of them. Use them over and over again, but just make sure you seal them like, and you put them in a place where, when I say seal them, like I mean, what I really mean is, once you're done with them, just make sure you uh, store them in a place where you know they're safe and you can reuse them over and over again. All right, you sure can, Harley. In fact, I would recommend our paint to do stencils, like the stencils I'm sharing with you, because our paint is made where it's thicker, and so if you see all the stencils that I do, um, it's, it's not like a liquidy type paint, okay? It's a different sort of feel to the paint, so it really helps to avoid bleed throughs, right? Hey, Pam, well, we think you are great too as well. We have over 40 colors. If you go to junkmonkeypaint.com, you'll be able to see all the colors right there. Yeah, I'm gonna help, definitely help you out then, Ashley. Stay tuned for that, I promise. Hey, Doreen from back home, nice to see you on here. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish up my, my lovely, uh, tree stand right here and uh, get that all looking fine and dandy and uh, put it in my store and I'll take a picture. All right. Uh, thanks, Sue. I love you too, girl. All right. Well, I will see you guys later. Make it the best day ever. Bye.